Is this it? Sturgis Motorcycle Rally? Okay, here we go. Motorcycles and Trump, baby! Hell yeah! How many cigarettes does this guy smoke? Jeez! Motorcycles and life! Hell yeah! See, I kind of, as I said, I hate watching these because, like, people will watch these videos and they'll think, right, bro, this is exactly what I thought Americans were like. This is exactly it. They'll be like Europeans that are getting like the biggest fucking like superiority boner of their life because they watch this video and they see how stupid the people are in the video and then they immediately fucking think like, yeah, I knew we were better. Eh, oh, oh, fucking idiots over there. Yeah, we're smarter and better than they are. It's exactly it's like that though. Yeah, I know. I know we're going to skip ahead. Oh my God. What's that? That's getting ready, baby. That's getting ready for the concert. We're ready to party. Oh. We ain't worried about no cover. Because why? Because we are independent. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you see what Wait just a... happened? Wait, what the fuck was that? Oh my fucking God. Screw COVID-19 with Trump on a motorcycle behind Mount Rushmore. Where the fuck do I get this shirt? This is a good one, boys. Hell yeah, brother. Oh my god, this is amazing. Giving the finger? Oh, I didn't even notice that, yeah. Wait, does that mean he's giving the finger to the Founding Fathers? I'm pretty sure that's not sending the kind of message that the guy thinks it is. Because it's facing Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Oh my god, okay. Do you see what just happened? They say, hey. Bow the fuck down, shut down your fucking businesses, wear a fucking mask. Yeah. And we all said, okay. Okay. He's got one two. Bitches, dude. They just fucking they just That's the government. You know That's I mean? the government. What does it mean to be a one percenter? To me it means if you broke into my house, I'm not calling the cops, I'll call my brothers. You know what I mean? It's a different okay. lifestyle that you probably leave. Fucking Sons of Anarchy fucking all up for us, dude. It's a soap opera, dude. You know, we're not out killing nobody. We're right here with you. Okay, give me a, I have to skip ahead, boys, because of the, uh, there, there's bad stuff here. Uh, just, yeah, we're gonna skip ahead. Uh, unfortunately, obviously, uh, you know, they don't want us to be looking at any titties or anything like that on this platform. Uh, unless, of course, it's, it's like body painting or something. I, I don't know. I... I, I don't know why Twitch is like this. I'm just going to not risk it, okay? We're going to not risk it because I'm a good boy that never does anything wrong. Masks do nothing. It's the key there people on fear. While you have all these liberal Democrat states trying to pull a socialism switch on us. Oh, what happens then? Well, we can't know let them do that. In Venezuela. I'd rather die. I'm not wearing a mask. I mean, yeah. I hate to say it, but yeah, look what happened to the Jews. They didn't think they were being put on trains to go and do what happened. People are being used like human pawns. Then you've got. Oh, man. The thing is, like, the best part is that I'm probably assuming that he probably didn't even, like, prompt this conversation. Like, for whatever reason, it's like every, like, every person that's like this has to go out and let everybody know about their opinion regarding masks. Because, like, for me, it's like, oh, uh, you know, there's other things in the world we could talk about. But it's like they have to fucking let everybody know. And, and you know why I think it is? Here's why I think it is. Is they're looking for validation for their stupid fucking opinions because somewhere deep down in their brain, they know it's fucking stupid. And they're just looking for that validation. That's what it's got to be, man. Because why else would you bring that shit up constantly? Is they're brainwashed? I don't think that's all there is to it. The education system They're teaching all of our kids that it was built on the backs of slaves. Are yeah. you fucking kidding me? It's over. California is like a third world country. I spend a hundred hours a week on the freeway. People are scared to death. What? And the sheep are waking up slowly. The yeah. silent majority is already speaking. It's our country again. A gone. You know what I mean? That's true. I've been dead four times. I'm not afraid to die. I've been dead four times? Yeah, maybe, maybe it's, yeah, it's whenever he goes to sleep. Trump might be right about Mexicans, that's all. What the fuck is wrong no with these people? No more bullshit! No more bullshit! 
bullshit. Ho no more bullshit. Holy no shit. No more bullshit. Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> Why? What's the biggest piece of bullshit you've heard? Joe Biden. He can sniff the from under my balls. Yeah. <laughs> Where he said? <laughs> from under my balls. That's where Biden can sniff. Where? <laughs> from under my balls. Motor Mike! It's Macho Man, Randy Savage. Oh shit! Well, I got a blowjob just right okay. over there. Last wow. Year, so. How about that? Yeah, she was just rearing to go. I ended, so that it was good for me, anyways. Yeah, how about that? Right, that oh Give my gas. god. Give oh my fucking god, dude. There you go. <laughs> Damn. That's a two-stroke there. Jesus. There it is. What the fuck? You gonna get a chip in your arm? I am. I said, oh are you? God. No, no, I'm not either. I'm trying to get to that one world government stuff. So you guarantee you, like, this guy thinks that any sort of chip is the RFID chip, and it's against, uh, it's the mark of the beast. That's why he's wearing the crucifix right there. Uh, like, I guarantee you, like, trust me, I, I can point these people out, and I, I can see them, even though they can't see me. Like, I, I'm, like, very good at identifying crazy people. He's talking about vaccines. That's all the same because in their mind, they're going to put the chips in through the vaccines. Like it, it doesn't like I, I've spent a lot of time. Like I can identify crazy conspiracy theorists just by looking at them. Like if I if you just give me a picture of a person, I can tell you if they're a conspiracy theorist or not. What's the one world government? I don't uh -huh. know. I hope we never see it. Who do you think made it up? Our government. There it is. Yeah. Trump. I don't know so much Trump, but that's a whole group of people up there, you know? Yeah, They're of going course. into the neighborhoods now. Who is? Uh, Antifa. Yep. I think they come to my neighborhood. I'm shooting them. Break <laughs> some arms, break some heads. Shoot them with real bullets. <gasps> Who goes around and thinks about that? Like, that's what's so crazy. Like, yeah, obviously, if you have people that break into your house... And, like, they're, like, attacking you in a mob. Like, yeah, I, I'm not going to hold it against somebody if they fucking shoot him, right? That's what you get. You shouldn't do that. But at the same time, like, who goes around and thinks about this shit? Like, I never think about it. It's like, if this happens, like, I don't know. I'll deal with it when it happens. It's just crazy to me, man. It's just crazy. He's fantasizing about it? That's yeah. That's probably what's going to happen. Okay. Well, he's got a plan for it then. Between the chick's legs. They love that vibration, baby. I'm not wearing a mask right now. <laughs> got big dicks. Man. I had no idea. It's all about riding in the hills. <gasps> oh my god. That's what it's about. We have a 39 year old trike. How about that? That's got 230, 260,000 miles on it. Wow. Stay at Eagle's Landing. Which is a good, peaceful. This guy's fried, man. Bike! Bike or die! Jesus, dude. I love noise! I Jesus, this dude. Country. Oh, how about that? To keep it free. Whoa! Yeah! Woo! You know, it's like the world is kind of messed up right now. I carry. I kind of want to, like, whenever I see these, dude, I, I want to go. I want to go to one of these. Is that bad? Like, I, I want to go to one of these. And just see, like, what's it like? Is it really like this or not? I, I, I'm really confused. It's content? I guess it could be. But it's just like, I wonder what it's actually like being here. Does it see your enemy? Yeah, it could be insane, man. People having fun? And I guess I'm it very could proud be. of that. I'm not in a militia. I love my guns. I love my Second Amendment. Well, how about fathers, that? That's what they, you know, wrote. You know, the Declaration why is of Independence, he... the Second Amendment. Just why here does... to have a good time and have fun. Why you know, nobody's he... going to take my rights away. Wait, did Where he just do what I think he did? Amendment. Just here to have a good time and have fun. You know, nobody's going to take my rights away. Declaration of Independence, the Second Amendment. One more. Just here One to more. have a good time and have fun. Yes, he did. Yes, he fucking did. Like, I, I didn't know if he did or not. I just had to double check. But, yep. There it is, right there. You know, nobody's gonna this actually makes me feel better about making, like, dick jokes and shit like that whenever I'm older. But then I remember, I like, anytime I drive somewhere and I listen to the radio show in the morning, it's always two middle-aged men making jokes like this. And, like, now I understand what their audience is.
gonna take my rights away. Wearing this while you're riding yeah. on a bike is like, like wearing a condom to bed by yourself. I just woke up, fucking hungover as hell. Oh, how about Somebody that? Somebody was in the bathroom. I went out back to the house to take a pee and thought I had to fart and never trust a fart when you're hungover. All right. What do you mean? Well, it might not be a fart. It's <laughs> <laughs> Trump, Sarah Palin, yeah. Are they friends? Yeah. They're, I think they're good friends, yes. Oh, he, my. Uh, he's a... Uh, oh, my God. He understands the, the uh, policy. He's not opposed to the American way. The whole I kind of feel bad for this guy. You know, it's just like a fucking old guy has no idea where he is. You know, it's just, it's an old man. There's not really a whole lot else besides that. Uh, it's insane, but, uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it's just, it's an old dude, man. He's still kicking. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the side wants to destroy America. Uh -huh. They're telling us what to do, where to go shopping, Damn, that where guy's to go ripped. out, when not to go out, what to wear when you go out. That guy doesn't give Bullshit. a fuck about coronavirus. They can take sports and stuff, stuff them up their ass because... If they're going to kneel what? for the American flag, oh, yep. I have no use for these people at all. What do you think should happen to them? Okay. They have that right. We fought, so they had that right. There it is. I, listen, black lives matter, white lives matter, every life matters. Oh, Americans matter. If they start saying Americans matter, I think we'll be a lot better off. Yep. Everyone in this country deserves the right to live the way they want to live. This seems like probably the most reasonable person there so far. This one's on. What the Why? fuck? Just because it's got the flame design. Aren't switchblades illegal? This one is probably my favorite. Yeah, aren't switchblades illegal? I don't know. Double sided, and because it's meant for throwing. If you want them to die slowly and semi painfully, you slit their jugular. If you want them to die instantly. These people are such nutcases, dude. Like, who the fuck sits around and thinks about this shit? You know what I mean? And it's like, the best part about it is, like, everybody acts like monk s etc. about this kind of stuff. Like, no. These are, like, people... They're not gonna get into physical confrontation. They just sit in their room by themselves, spinning their knife around on their hand, thinking about doing this. But it's like, the moment that they had a physical confrontation, they'll run away. Like, you don't have to worry about this. These aren't, like, trained killers. These are just morons that spend all the time in their own fucking head inventing these scenarios where they're a hero for saving a Walmart from a, a, a robber or something like that. That's really what's going on here. So just don't worry about these guys. I, I've dealt with so many of these people back whenever, uh, whenever I was in school, dude. They're everywhere. You go for their heart or the soft spot on their skull? If you had to stab what? anybody, who would it be? Um, my ex, Randy. Why? He... Wait, is that Randy next to him? Acted like he cared so much, but when I actually needed him to be there, he never was. So, he, he would be the first person that I would stab. Yeah. Well, she's either cold or on drugs. Yeah, I wonder which me. one. My mother. It's, it's my mother because of the fact of how she treated me growing up. It's why I became obsessed with knives. It's why knives are almost always on me. That's another one of the reasons what a that fucking idiot. we actually even started talking to each other at all. What a fucking because idiot. Because he's a lot like me, and I never would have known that if we hadn't started talking. How do you feel about Sturgis? Yeah. Uh, considering that bikes are one of my biggest passions, I love it. Well, how about that? Making us wear masks is tyranny. Do you know there won't be any more COVID on November 4th? It'll be gone. That's what's going to happen. I get it. It's well, real. That's, that's good to know. Thank you. I appreciate that. I was I was worried that it would go in the next year. But November 4th, boys, write it down. It's solved. That's all there is to it. No, I, again, like, they're not psych These people are not psychos. Like, they're just crazy people that spend too much time in their own fucking head. Like, I, the people are not actually like this. Like, yeah, obviously you're going to have some some bad people and everything like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But most of the time, they're just fucking morons. Okay, just keep that in mind. They're just fucking morons. Well, I get it. People have the right to do whatever they want. Yeah. But don't tell me what I have to do. I'm a registered nurse. This is bullshit. George Soros, he's an evil demonic yeah, fuck. And it's not even the blacks She's that hot. are doing it. I'm sorry. No, it's it's the there. whites that are doing all the rioting oh, and here all we the go. bullshit. Yep. And they're using it as a platform to act like animals. What that cop did was a thousand percent wrong. 
somebody dies that's part of this whatever, they can have a funeral that's 100,000 strong. And yet we can't go out of the house? Bullshit. If you want this shit to end, get that orange bastard out that office and put some people, put somebody in there that's going to unite the people. We well, did more for the American people yes, in three and a half years than Obama. It didn't age. Uh oh, here we go. Everybody they put in their office, all they doing is lying their damn pockets anyway. The they ain't people, for the people. The people in our, exactly. Here we go. But another thing, blue lives do not matter. Hell, that was a job. That is not no damn life. That's a job. Well, they do get carried away and they're and they over do the get line. Carried away and, and they go over the line. You damn right they do. I agree. So blue lives do not matter, totally cause there's not a life. That's a job. That's a choice. I mean, anybody can be a police. You need to set your ass down, learn the law. Well, that doesn't mean you get to shoot them. Like what the? Oh, man, these people are fucking crazy. God damn. And stop beating on people, innocent people, killing innocent people. This yeah. shit is it, it just Holy outrageous. Shit. You need to stop. Good. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Oh, yeah, bro. We got you riled too now. <laughs> the coronavirus. Jesus, dude. Holy I'm shit. Beating on people innocent. Yo, I, I like how they make up and they're friends. You know, they're friendly towards each other at the end. I think that's like the best part about it. You know, it's like, meanwhile, you have like these fucking idiots on Twitter that get in an argument with each other for fucking, you know, next video. Yo, chill, dude. We're not watching the next one. That one's bad, man. I can't watch that one. I'm going to get a vacation if I watch that one. We'll have, we'll watch one more that is not the porn convention one, okay? Okay, here we go, the Portland protest. A-C-A-B, all cops are bastards! A-C-A-B, all cops are bastards! What the, holy shit! Oh my god! Look at him, dude! What are they doing? What's going on, man? You know, just hanging out, feeling pretty hyped up, you know. Why are you doing this? What, what's this? I have nothing better to do. No, Black Lives Matter, dude. Fuck Trump. Yeah? It's all wrong. It's all wrong. Essentially. Yeah, Black... I have nothing better to do. Okay, well, that there it is. Um, yeah, Cap... Well, th yeah, this is Captain America. Uh, you know, minus the, uh... Minus the Captain part. Black Lives Matter. The oh, fuck is bastard? Oh my god! This is my city. Look Not at him. Trying to get the feds out of Portland, Oregon. How come? Because they're fucking bitches. They wouldn't want them here. There it is. Rule us, they protect tyrants and oligarchs. Oh we're my just god! Slaves. I believe black liberation will lead to everybody's liberation. And I hate the fucking feds and the police. We appreciate Jesus. black lives. We want them to flourish. Abolish police, abolish prisons. We can't give peace if y'all ain't giving it to us, so we gonna take it. Take it. And that's period. That. That's Most of my family didn't die because of these police. I'm not taking it no more. The federal uh, agents have been deployed to Portland and have been snatching people up, taking them into van. I like how they just go from like one fucking crazy, like hyped up asshole to another. And then they just have this interview with like a really, you know, well-spoken like fucking news anchor guy just out of nowhere who's like just standing there uh it, it's just it's really funny you know there, there's they bring th these people these places they bring people together and dropping them off in various oh locations God. our main demand has been to defund the police most of the calls that they get are mental distress and they're sending people that are trained to shoot first we need people that are that are mental health experts what we have to do yeah, is that makes sense i like that slowly yeah. start treating the roots of the problems, yeah, that, that, things that, that sense, actually yeah. cause crime, like education, wealth de redistribution, mental health. Oh, shit. Oh, that's just a firework. Yo, Portland, we getting lit. It's already cool. We want PPP defunded by like, 30%. Like, what do you think the percentage of the people that go to these things are that are just here to party? You know, it's like the event and everything else like that. You know, it is what it is. It's whatever, right? But they're just yeah, they're just here to party. They're here to have fun. They're just here to chill, man. That's what it's about for them. 90%? It's got to be a we lot. We want all the money to come back to our community. Oh, my like God. I'd see the police cut by 75%, eventually working to 100. You should read with Wilson Gilmore. You should read Angela Davis. Abolition yeah. is present. Firework. It is not absent. Shit, man, we out here protesting because this shit got me fucked up. We out here doing our thing. Oh, God. Oh, my God. We out God. here for Black Lives Matter. You don't stand for this shit. Take your punk asses home. Fuck the fans.
the feds just started coming out of the federal building. Then they just started fucking everyone else up. It's retaliation o'clock. They're terrorists. Woo-hoo. How is it retaliation o'clock if you have a leaf blower? Like, to be fair, that's why I'd want to go to the convention. You know, like, imagine, like, you meet a girl at one of the... Like, imagine meeting your wife at a riot. Imagine your kids. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, a uh, you know, check Oh, your it's for tear it's gas. Retaliation o'clock. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I never even thought of that. Antifa! Woo! Dude, if that? your dad's a cop, like fucking punch him in the face at Jesus. least 50 times. You never met like a sick ass cop, a skateboarder type, griff yeah. tiger cop? Never met a sick ass cop. Every single person I know has been tear gassed. My mom got tear gassed. Fuck them. God damn. I don't think anything stresses people out more than their pockets getting touched. You gonna pocket yeah. check the feds? If I can. Do you want your face blurred in this interview? No, I'm good. How come? So I'm gonna fuck. They think they fight for is, their dude. country. There I'm it is. I'm fighting for my country too. Fuck 12. Eat my goddamn ass and suck these nuts. If we're really gonna get into the Constitution. This is federal government encroaching upon I'm our. I'm glad he cut that part out. Like just right there. Yeah. Just if we're gonna get in the Constitution. Nope. Uh. Uh-uh, uh. Nope. A- out of the way. Get. Get him out of here. This is actually really good. I feel like. Are, are we like? Is this gonna? Are we gonna have a civil war soon? Like I mean, we've we've got to have a civil war pretty soon, right? I don't know. I feel like a civil war. I feel like it'd be boring, cause like it probably wouldn't even really be a war. It'd just be like people like, like tweeting at each other, cause like nobody actually is gonna go out and like get in a real fight. It'd just be like some bullshit. I don't know, man. Like, it, it, it's so nutty out there, and these people like. It's crazy to actually see this shit happen because you'll like read about it on the news and it's like you never really know what to think. But this is just like some random guy, right? He just goes out there and records him. A- and here they are. First Amendment rights and our liberty. They really don't care. Last night the mayor of Portland was here and they still gassed. Where, how Fuck is them, that dude. De- de-escalation? It's clearly a precursor to just an authoritarian regime. There it is. Being out here, I would say it's patriotism at its finest. Well, they need to that? know what the fuck the right side of history is. Fuck a fascist state. Yeah, I got my uh, I got my Antifa terrorist card in my back pocket. You know how it is. They escalate the violence every single night. Rest in peace, Kwani Stays. The fuck, dude? Rest in peace, Jason Washington. Oh my oh, god. god. We're not taking this shit no more. This is Portland, what's your name? We fucking outnumber them in leaf blowers and fucking people. I think they're garbage. In leaf blowers, okay. Look at this guy. Bro, is this like scuffed Bane? Look at him. Look at that. That's a scuffed Bane. This is awesome. This guy's like fully fucking armored. Raid is transmog? I actually think this transmog looks fucking badass. He's ready for Corona? Bro, this guy's ready for anything. Yeah, this guy's awesome. He's got like, look at his- Oh my god. Oh wait, he's pressed. Oh my god. No. Are you guys allowed to talk to us? All right, there it is. I appreciate that your lighting guy isn't shining it right in my face. Hey, pussy. That's Good nice. Good job. You gonna quit when you got your shift, pussy? Look at him. He's so he's so sad and tired. What happened? <gasps> Look at that. Look at that pussy. Like I, I I hate people. But I hate people like that, dude. I hate people like that because he's the pussy. What the fuck do you mean? Like, yeah, what what a fucking bitch. Yeah, soy boy taunting. Yeah, it, it's so bad, man. Behind a fence with a guy's not supposed to do anything. Yeah, it's it's so sad. Uh, gross take. Yeah, gross take. Oh yeah, you're right. Just like standing in front of somebody and shining a light up and down in their face over and over and over. That's totally not pussy behavior. Yeah, that that's really. You know what? Uh, yeah, I, I know how to stop police brutality. Let's go downtown and shine lights in their face and antagonize them and be as abusive as possible and destroy property. Yeah, that's really going to help police brutality. 
Well, that's completely fucking ridiculous. It's people that just want to go out and do whatever the fuck they want. It's ridiculous. Oops. I just, I'm glad it's not right in my eyes. Yeah, I'll bet. What's this here? Wait, they have paintball? Is that a paintball gun? I think they're about to gas us. Oh, that's exciting. Look at them, dude. Holy shit. Jesus. This is, this is the fucking apocalypse. Oh my god. 490. Oh my fucking god. I don't know what it was. It was worse than pepper balls. What do you feel like? It, like fucking hell, dude. This sucks. I kind of wonder what it would be like to get tear gassed. You know what I mean? Like, I, not like in a weird way. I just, I wonder what it would feel like. But I bet it's like, it sounds cool. It's like, oh, I wonder what's about. I bet it would fucking suck. Like, I had somebody pepper spray me once, and I, like, walked into it, like my friend Eric did, as a joke. It's really funny, by the way. And, um, he pepper sprayed me, and that shit fucking hurt. Like, that that actually fucking hurt. Like, I, I, I was like, I was like, man, this, it, like, it's just like a, a mist. Like, I just walked right through. I was like, oh, whatever, right? No, man. That was the worst shit. Like, I would never want to do that to somebody. It, it, it fucked with me for, like, an hour. And I barely even got any of it on me. It was insane. I'm in a frat, and I got tear gas. We're in a frat, we got well, tear gas. Well, how about gas. that? Kappa Sigma, baby! <laughs> We're fucking out here for Black Lives Matter. And okay. Protest, fucking police brutality. And how cool was that? And coming out strong with some fucking brutality. Jesus. Like, a peaceful protest. I'm standing I see in a that. cloud of tear gas. Fuck you. Sorry. Armed mobs of Joe Biden voters torched buildings, smashed uh -oh. cars, attacked police officers. Militarized uh -oh. federal officers continue their nightly attacks on anti-racist protesters Monday, waging a campaign of violence oh against God. largely peaceful demonstrations in Oregon. They were surrounded and apparently assaulted by 150 Joe Biden voters dressed in black. <laughs> it's just, it's so terrible, isn't it? It's so absolutely terrible. Like, it's just the people, they go out there and they just fucking go on the TV and they just fucking say whatever they want. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. It doesn't matter, like, what the, what actually happened. Like, this is all secondary. Like, ah, you know what? This doesn't really get people to watch. Like, not whenever you start making shit up. Uh, I, I, listen, I don't really have, like, a big opinion on Tucker Carlson or anything like that. I don't even know who the other person is. I, I don't really care. But, like, it's just crazy. Just, like, I, I don't know, man. It's so much. It's so fucking much. It was fake as fuck? Well, I don't know if it is or not. Black paramilitary here, they hurt people. A lot of people. Yeah. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, how stoked are you guys about presidential candidate Joe Biden? Oh, here we go. Zero. Absolutely fucking zero. He has um, yeah. an affinity for uh, fucking children. So do you guys plan to vote for Trump instead? I'm gonna vote for anarchy. So I've heard the right wing me. Nice. There it is. There it is. Just gonna vote for anarchy. All right. Uh, imagine that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. These people hate Joe Biden too. Like these people just they they hate the government. A lot of them just hate the fucking government. Uh, that's all there is to it. And uh, yeah, they're not Joe Biden voters. Uh, they just hate the fucking government. Some of them are. I'd say more of them are Joe Biden voters than Trump voters, but still, a lot of them aren't either. Media talk about how everyone down here is anarchists, and then I've heard the left wing media talk about how everyone down here is simply peacefully protesting, and I, I think there's a mix of both. That's true. Fuck. The full story is that there's protesters mixed in, protesters mixed in with yeah. people trying to create violence. I've been here for the last five nights. This is going to go on all night, back and forth. The president of the NAACP in Portland says that the focus is getting off of black lives. The focus is going on the federal government, on just this yeah, back makes and sense. forth battle of violence. And a I don't think the feds are going to back down. Yeah, I, think I guess the feds so. are going to continue to escalate the violence. And that means the protesters are going to continue to escalate the violence. And I don't think that's going to solve any issues. And the 
thing that Black Lives Matter is supposed to do is get people together to solve issues. If you're white, you don't get to decide when you want to break shit. You don't get to decide when it's time to protest, when it's time to march, or when it's time to do whatever. You don't know what that feels like. You don't know what it feels like to watch George Floyd die. So if you're a white anarchist, shut the fuck up. Listen to the black people oh, and what they want to do. If here it's time go. for them to set shit on fire, the black people, then you listen to them and you support them. And you make sure they're okay. You don't go and do it with them. It is not your job. This you is not- an organizer? Oh my God. Oh my God. It's like, I, I, it's like you have like, you know, you have nut balls everywhere, right? It's the same as the other video. It's just nut balls. But like, it's one thing to have a nut ball and it's another thing to put the nut ball in charge. Like, yeah, you have crazy people. Ah, yeah, it is, yeah, she's crazy, racist, whatever, right? But you put them in charge and, and then it's like, oh man, that that's a bit of an issue. Terrorists trying to decide racism? Well, no, what they're trying to do is, it's like basically, they, they, they want to rationalize having a monopoly on violence and being able to use violence to achieve political means. That's what they want to be able to do. And so if other people can do that, then that lessens their power and it makes them less important. So that's why they want to be the only people that are able to do it. Uh, that's what it's about. You know, it, it, it's not complicated at all. Uh, yeah, it's called terrorist. Yeah, I, like listen, like I, I understand. I, I think that that's basically what it is too. Like some of these people, like listen, I, I've, I've made very clear what my stance is on these types of things. Okay, like I, I don't need to go over it again. I walk out with a Louis Vuitton bag. This is not a joke. And the re- the only reason you think it's a joke is because you're white and you don't have the same fear I have. We only came here to get naked. He got naked. Sexy. He got butt ass naked. You probably saw his dick on fucking Audrey. live television. Our objective is what the fuck? to bring all of us together. Black lives. And bring Indian, black lives to the front. The South forefront. American. They Every- don't give a fuck about that. These are just a bunch of goddamn stupid ass motherfuckers that are trying to make it about them because they're completely about their own goddamn ego, man. That's all it is. They're totally about their own fucking ego. Like, it's, yeah, they just want to go on there and, what is this, oh, there's, there's a Vikings here, okay. Everybody has indigenous ancestors, you know, the Vikings are my indigenous ancestors. Well, how about those that? guys were straight anti-fascists. Anyone tried to colonize them, they got fucked up. I mean, they were anarcho-primitivists, right? So, uh-huh. they ran their societies like this right here. This is all people out here rewilding themselves. The world's constantly Definitely about the wilding. And of course, the colonizer paradigm is going to do exactly what it does yeah. to a field. But it's trying to rewild. It's going to hit it as hard as it can. It's going to use its gas. And guess what? We are stronger than that fucking gas. I play the yeah, trumpet in that fucking that. gas, you know what I mean? All this is nuts. We got to just burn it to the ground, build a new world out of the ashes. So drop your fucking badge. You want to put your hands on me? Let's do it right here, toe-to-toe, motherfucker. Not with all your fucking thug bodies around. That's what I say to the fucking feds. Oh, yeah, everyone geez. hates the government. But if it's not about black lives, you shouldn't be down here, and you shouldn't be with this fight, because it's we're not fighting just with the cops. We're fighting for black liberation, for black people to live, for black people to have education. That's what this is about. Fuck conservatives, fuck liberals, fuck Democrats, fuck Republicans. You have to vote for the people. I like how he's got a six pack and there's only two left. You know what I mean? Like you guys notice that there's only two left? Like this guy's going nuts. And and, and like, this is, I think, I really do believe like a lot of the people that go to these different things just go there. They don't give a fuck about like police brutality. They don't give a fuck about Black Lives Matter. They just go there to loot shit. Like, that's all there is to it. Because how do I know that? It's because I know some of them, okay? Not some of them that would do it today, but they would have done it 10 years ago, okay? Like, that's exactly what it is. They're just going there to fuck shit up. And uh, it it is insane, man. And uh, mob mentality? Well, it's not just mob mentality. It's like, basically, it's like you... It's like there might not be another opportunity for this for another, like, I don't know, after this one cools down, another, like, six months or so at this rate, right? But, like, usually this doesn't happen until, like, every 20 years. Like, every 20 years, you have, like, a, you know, a cultural meltdown. And so it's like if you don't get your chance to, like, get it in right now, but the next time it happens again, you have, like, kids, you have, like, a job, and so, like, you won't be able to go out looting every night. And so they want to make sure that they get their fucking time in so they have those memories. Like, yeah, it might as well do dumb shit. No, these people are fucking nuts, man. It's absolutely like, it, it, it's, I almost like it because of how bad it is. It's like at a certain point where like things just get so bad, it's funny. It's like you're going to, uh, it's like you're going to get your, um, going to like court for like a, a traffic ticket 
and then your car breaks down on the way to court and then you get pulled over and the cops come and they find out you had a like a, an inspection that like you didn't do and then you go to jail like that's kind of funny like in a way and like that's kind of the way that i see it yeah it's kind of funny who aren't fucking influenced by apac money yeah. jewish money all that fucking shit dude you can't fix oh, someone boy. else until you fix the shit inside you. So it's oh, like, you shit. need to actually do the work. Oh, it's like, do not shit. not come down here drunk. Fuck you. Fuck you. You piece of shit. There it is. You're a piece of shit. You're like 100% a piece of shit. Is this how big your dick is? Is this how big your dick is? It's like some random so drunk bad. guy. But it's not just about abolishing police because they came and like shut down your party or something. It's about abolishing police because they're killing us. They love to repost about white fragility, but then they're not actually looking at the white fragility they have in themselves. Where my grandma used to live was like the most gentrified area in Portland. It was on 16th and Alberta. She had a house and they moved it out and now it's an art gallery. And now they have signs in the wall. It's like, we support George Floyd, like justice for George Floyd. And it's like, where was that justice for my grandma, like that black woman that she pushed out of her home? It's kind of sad to see the neighborhood. Well, that, that justice wasn't, that, that justice was not, uh, so not fine. It wasn't financially lucrative. So why why would these companies talk about how much they care about justice if they can lose money for it? It's because they don't give a shit in the first place. Like I, I'm glad that like one good thing that I, I I'm very glad to see about this whole fucking protest thing and everything like that is because they couldn't make money off of it the first time. Now they can make money off of it, and so now they're talking about it. it. It's to see all these people waking up and seeing that these corporations actually don't give a fuck about any of these problems, and they're just talking about them in order to get people to co-opt those issues to make people buy their fucking products. They don't care about it at all up and be unrecognizable and to kind of feel like a ghost in a home of your own and we hate yeah. to say it but we do need white people because they are the ones who are in positions of power money petitions um getting voting. into your city council voting the upcoming election is very important i think yeah. everybody needs to vote i bet uh, i i fucking bet dude i i hate to say it well it's just like oh my god I wonder, like, so this is one question I have, is, like, whenever he does these videos, like, how much of, like, prompting really goes into this? Like, how much does he prompt these different answers from these people, and how much they just fucking come out with it? How much they just fucking go out and just say it, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a super cut? Yeah, I wonder, like, what, what is the question that he asks them to gets them to say, you know, X, Y, or Z? That's what I'm kind of curious, man. Uh, let me see here. Uh, uncut videos on his Patreon. Unironically sets these answers up. It's so obvious. Uh, I, I think to some degree, right? Uh, H3, H3 interviewed him. Get him on stream. He said zero. They mostly come to him. Uh, it does an interview where he talks about it. I, I wonder, I wish that he almost would do like a live stream of himself recording one of these videos just so we could get an idea of like how much of this is like prompted and how much of it is just completely organic. It goes to environments where people are already hyped, drunk, emotional, etc. Well, yeah, but like, I, it, that doesn't it doesn't mean he's like telling them to say it. They're still saying it on their own. Yeah, a live stream or something like that. That'd be fucking great. Uh, let's see here. Jewish money, concentrated Zoom. Yeah, that's fucking insane, man. Can't believe all gas, no brakes is the only true journalist left in America. Oh my god, dude. I hope how the frat guys can't go five seconds without shouting out their frat. That's pretty much about it, man. Uh, it, it's fucking insane. Like, uh, this is, uh, this is absolutely crazy. Like, these people, like, just watching this, it actually makes me wonder if there's gonna be, like, a massive fucking, like, you oh, know, no. like, huge, like, riot or something that's gonna happen in the U.S. Like, I, I wonder, like, how much of this is actually just, like, kind of sensationalized and how much of it's really happening with, like, how big the country is. But, like, you still wonder, like, is there gonna be, like, a massive fucking thing that happens? Uh, you know what I mean? They've been protesting for 100 days plus. Do you guys think that, like, a lot of these protests are because of the, uh, the, the COVID stuff? Because they don't, they don't have jobs? And so, like, they just, they, they, they can't, like, go out, go to work, and so they're just protesting. I feel like a lot of it partially is. Uh, maybe not a lot, but, um, at least part of it is. Yeah, these videos are fucking amazing, man.